Hi there, it's Julia. Um, I am about to head out to wash my Jeep, take it to the car wash, and hopefully get some of the road guck off of it. Yesterday, UPS, um, they said there's no work in Reno Carson area, but for any volunteers that want to go up to the Tahoe area, they, of course, pay your mileage and your time starting from Reno. So I decided, well, I really would like some money since I just bought headlights for my Jeep. <laughs> so um, so I headed up there. It was like an hour and 15 minute drive from Reno and um, the roads were clear. 80 was finally opened up in both directions. And so I thought, what the heck, I'll try it. I turned it down once before because I just didn't want to deal with the steepness of the driveways and everything up there. Um, but actually, I kind of had fun. I met the drivers. I met with two different drivers, took a load from each of them. Um, one of them had me on this street called Edgewater and Observatory or something like that. Anyways, it was called that because it was literally the houses were on lakefront, Lake Tahoe lakefront houses. Of course, we saw the backside, um, but oh my gosh, it was, you could see the lake right there. It was absolutely gorgeous and the, the snow was incredibly deep. There you could see no pavement in the residential areas. It was just compacted snow and super high on the sides. Um, one street I went down with my second driver, it was literally a car width wide and five feet of snow on each side. Uh, he could have never, or hardly, I don't know how he would have gotten up there. Um, so he gave me the stuff that was more Jeep worthy um, so I did it and I got there. One, I actually, the road was kind of blocked. I had one, one package up the road, so I decided to hoof it. I just got out, locked my Jeep and walked. Um, it was, you know, maybe the equivalent of two blocks, maybe a little, about two blocks, city blocks, um, but in the snow. <laughs> but I got their package and they were home and happy about it. Um, and so several of the people had multiple packages because they haven't been able to deliver in the area. But my goal was to leave by 3.30 because it gets dark and icy. Um, it was 24 degrees there. So, and I did, I think I left at 3.20. Um, but, so it was worth it um, to do. I don't know what's gonna happen next week, we'll see. But in the meantime, my Jeep is filthy from that, so I'm going to go to the car wash. Not the drive through because I can't do that with my bumpers and winch and stuff. Um, but the spray me down kind, just try to get that salty yuck off from underneath the Jeep and from the sides. But I don't want to use those brushes either because they're bad for the paint. But uh, I might on the side steps and a little bit maybe on my diff covers or something, but um, let's see how bad my Jeep looks right now. And here she is. <laughs> Very dirty, yuck, glass is horrible, caked on mud and just yuck. So we're gonna see how I do with the car wash. Get her a little bit cleaned up. And, uh, and then we'll see how well I do. All right, guys, um, hopefully we get some work next week. And I did order for Jeep content. I did order JW Speaker J2 or Evo 2 headlights and taillights, Northridge 4x4. Had a great deal on the set. So I was going to order the headlights anyways, and I would like the matching taillights because I like things that match. <laughs> So, um, anyways, those are supposed to be here to, uh, Monday. So we'll see how UPS does getting my my uh, headlights here on Monday. They came from Washington, so it's not too far. Um, but, anyways, I hope those come, and then I'll do a comparison of the headlight um, beam pattern from my stock headlights to the new ones. And so hopefully I'll have that video out by next weekend. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.